everybody, welcome back to the cat cave. Since I go by cat, um, I'm gonna go by calling it the cat cave. So as you can see, if you watched my home makeover video, um, or at least part one, you saw that I was working on cleaning this out. I got about to this shelf. I cleaned out the rest the other day and put all the books away. Um, so, so he's gonna move that over there and we're gonna hang up some nice curtains and we're gonna put my desk over here, all that kind of stuff. So um, it's gonna be pretty great and I'm super excited. So today actually, when I was looking through all of the stuff that we went through, I found a lot of cool items and stuff that I haven't seen for a while that I'm like, where did this go? Um, so I finally found um, some of the items. Some of the items I already have like in the house, but these are some like, favorite things of mine um that I've just I've had around the house or that are a big part of my life some way or they're just really cute and I absolutely love them um or they mean a lot to me so basically there's a lot of meanings to these items um and I'm gonna just show who knows so um over in my corner of the office here um I have like I said a bunch of items I have about 10 things here that I'm going to show you that either I grew up with or that just have some important meaning to me or I just I love the items so let's get to that all right so with the first item I'm going to show you is very special to me this is my bear and I grew up with this bear I've had it since I was born I believe um his name is Teddy and Teddy's a boy and Teddy is a little discolored. He's a little, uh, he needs to be refluffed a little bit. Um, he had to be re multiple times growing up. His eye looks like maybe it got burnt a little bit somehow. So that kind of sucks, poor Teddy. Um, his nose used to be a bright pink color and now it's absolutely white. And he used to have these cute little polka dots all over his little body, um, but he no longer has polka dots all over his little body, unfortunately. So I'm gonna give you a close up of him. But as you can see, his eye over here is a little messed up. He used to have polka dots. I kind of want to revamp Teddy at some point and maybe like change his body and try and find a polka dotted body and um, re sew his head on and put fluff in there. So then hopefully our kids can love him as much as I do. We don't have kids yet, but someday when we do, um, this is something I hope that I can share with them, um, for them to love as well. So, um, I hope that. So when I was growing up, I had a Corgi. Her name was Missy. Um, she had a Mohawk. I wish I had a picture because it wasn't like, it was like a Mohawk that she made, that was made herself so I guess like the way that the breeder explained it was when she was a baby her mom must have licked her hair the wrong way and it did like a cow lick thing and so it wasn't like a person made mohawk like we tried to like get it out and everything there was there was no getting rid of it but anyway she was a cute little fluffy baby and um every year my grandparents ran the blueberry festival well they didn't run it but they were like the main blueberries um, and so during the Blueberry Festival, there's also an art fair going downtown. And I saw this cute little, and this is part of the reason the magnet strips come in because this was a magnet before and I'm gonna fix it. Um, but obviously it's a little chipped, a little old now, but it had a picture of a corgi on it. And I remember begging, begging my parents for this. Um, and I was just like, I got to have it because it's Missy and Missy's, Missy can go on our, <laughs> our fridge. Um, and so, yeah, there's a cute little corgi magnet, obviously. Um, but this is just, is very special to my heart. Um, and so I want to hang it on my fridge soon. So I've got to, I got to put the magnet on, but I really wanted to show you guys that. All right. The next item on our list is honestly one of my favorites. I just got it this last year because um, I needed more cups at work. Um, and so <laughs> honestly, the only reason I got it was because it's really funny. Um, so I'm going to show you the cup first and I'll read it. But it's got a bear on it. 
and this might be backwards because it's still don't know what it's doing. Basically, it's got a bear, it's light blue and dark blue, and it says people in sleeping bags are like soft tacos. And I saw that and I was like, that's so bad, but it's so funny. It's just my humor, you know? So, um, I begged my husband to get this because this was, this was while I was still working. I just used all of what I had made on a bill and then we wound up going in. He was buying stuff already. So as soon as he saw this cup, he was like, oh yeah, we got to get this cup. So, um, it's great that, <laughs> that he thought the same as me, you know? So we both, um, we got, we got cups. <laughs> And so this one is just really cute, really funny, I thought. So I was like, I gotta get it. So it's very important to me. I like it a lot. All right, the next item, and I'm gonna be grabbing like from here to here, here, is this little pack. So some older people who watch this may know, because I have some older family members that watch this. And my mom, if she sees this, will definitely know what this is. It's actually an old camera. And I mean like, old like this was the one that my mom took pictures of me with when i was a kid it's a samsung maxima 1450 af um it's kind of really cool i don't know how to work it to save my life um oh my gosh okay like if i press the button it does something i don't know if you can see it but um I don't know how to work this. So mom, if you see this, <laughs> maybe you can show me how to work this, but there's nothing in it. Um, but it looks, it's still in really good condition. So I'm wondering if I get some film and a battery, if I'm, I can use this for some stuff. Um, obviously not, um, filming purposes. I'll still use my phone for that. But I found this and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I remember like, I mainly don't remember like the camera. I remember this pack and I don't remember why I remember this pack. It's really cute. It's got like the super like 90s vibes. Like there's this little like bird thing and it's like this grape color. Um, which I'm not a huge fan of purple, but like when it comes to this style, I'm like, that's really cute. I'll carry that around, but maybe I can use it for some things. I don't even know if you can get like film developed anymore. So that'd be something that I'd have to probably learn at home. All right. The last item on the top shelf. Um, honestly, I don't exactly know where this comes from. Um, I'm pretty sure it's from some of the family from Japan. Um, I'm not Japanese, but I do have um, family from there or else I call them my family. Um, my aunt, my great aunt, she did the uh, student exchange program. It's like a katana. So I'm going to show you the outside close up. It's got this nice little tassel. It's got some cool artwork on it. And then I'm going to just... thing probably needs to be polished. I'll have to show my husband that. But it's super cool. I don't think it's a katana. I don't know what this is. If you know what this sword is supposed to be called though, let a sister know because I'm gonna feel really stupid if I keep calling it a katana and it's not. So um, hopefully when my whole desk setup is all fixed, I wanna get like a little stand to be able to just put this on there. Um, and hopefully this change purse is actually really important to me. Leather because it's very old, um, but it was my grandpa's. So my grandpa passed away on 9-11 of 2009. Um, I miss him very much. He was one of my very best friends. Um, and Tara because he used to stick to these, um, back and forth in his pants and his shirt pockets. It smells like genuine leather. So this is very like nice, important item. Um, I looked forever for a fanny pack. So when we went on our honeymoon, I really wanted a fanny pack because the year before when we went to Mackinac, because we live in Michigan, so like Mackinac is like a destination. 
Um, we went up through the Thumb and we went to um, Niagara and Owen Sound, Sudbury, and then uh, Tabermory. Um, well, we went to Owen Sound, Tabermory, and then Sudbury. And then we went back down through the top of the of the UP and we saw some places there and everything. So while we did that trip, I wanted to have something I could carry things around in. And I had known before that um, the backpack situation from going in years past was really terrible. So I looked everywhere because it was when fanny packs were kind of just starting to get in style. Journeys is baby pink, might be dirty. But it says Adidas on the front. It's got two packs. It's got a giant pack here. And it's got a pack here in the front. And it's got a little thing, a little clip-on thing, which I don't I don't know what that's for. I love it. And um it's really comfortable to wear. If you haven't gotten yourself a fanny pack, what are you doing? Honestly. Um Alright, here's another one. This one's another sentimental items that I also put in that box that I keep my grandpa's um, change purse in. I've got me and my husband's um, vows to each other. So we thought it'd be really cool to get these little books. They're super cute, just little like basic from Walmart books that we got. Um, and we wrote our vows in here. Um, Basically, we got these just to hold our vows in and they're just very nice to like every once in a while go back and look so and they're just very sweet words that we wrote to each other um, and we obviously we kept them and they're just they're still important obviously to just say. All right, so the next thing on our list is this wonderful cup. If you are from Canada, you know what the big nickel is. Well, somewhat maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of things in America that I don't know what they are, so, I don't know. But if you're from Ontario, you most likely know what this is. Um, we, we went to Sudbury, we went to two different places. We went to Science North, which was so cool. It's super accessible. Um, we went there before uh, I was in a wheelchair or needed other mobility aids, such as crutches. The big nickel is basically this giant 12-sided nickel that they made um, at this like, um, it's another um, like X mine, I guess you would say, um, where they, I forget what the place is called. Oh my gosh, there's Science North and there's the other place like right down the street. But it's super great. Um, I love that place. Um, and that is this. We went um, to Sudbury on our honeymoon. I believe it was stop four, maybe, um, before we came back down through the top of the mitten. So, all right, these next ones are kind of creepy. And the reason I say they're kind of creepy is because they are Halloween themed. This is Anastasia and Franklin, Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. And so they are um, Joe Spencer's Gathered Traditions. And I found them when we were in Mackinac and I really want to get more of them. They have so, he has so many cute ones, um, but he like paints the faces and makes their bodies and everything. And so they're just very detailed, simply made I like dolls and they're just, they're beautiful. They're, they're really cute. So this is Franklin and he has a little trick or treat bag and he's just, he's super cute. They made the little things in his neck, the thumbtacks, but honestly, I'm just like in love with the faces. They're very creepy, very my vibe. This is Anastasia, and so she has a very creepy face as well. Um, she's wearing a dress, she's got a little trick or treat bag. She's very sweet. Both of them are super cute, and I can't wait to put them in my office area <laughs> so they can stare back at me all day long. Look, we're triplets. I absolutely love them. They're so cute. Um, so, if you like this video, please like, please subscribe. I don't know. I don't have that much energy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. It's been an hour and I'm tired. <laughs> A mean deal. We're going to go to bed now. So, I hope you have a wonderful night. Hey, no nibbles. Um, but we're going to have a wonderful night. We're going to go to bed.